Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will be a energy check-in to look at the current situation, the current feelings, what might be hidden. We'll take a peek into love, career and finances and general messages and then look at the possible outcome based on the current energy when this message finds you. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey <clears throat> at the time they view this video. Okay, a couple more shuffles will get it cracking for you. Get the energy right in the cards. Okay, let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. So what is going on in the current situation that Spirit would like you to know? about or make you aware about the page of wands you could be embarking on a new journey or this could be messages coming forward the page of wands is a younger fire energy leo aries sagittarius so it could be a child somebody younger than you or a situation that's beginning to develop and what might be in your current feelings we have the six of pentacles give and take maybe messages about receiving something maybe generosity is coming towards you we have a spirit of giving as well. The, you may be receiving a message regarding receiving some type of benefit. What might be hidden from Pisces right now? Ace of Pentacles. There's something coming in, Pisces. You don't see this right now. You might be like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Blessings Foundry. But here we do see, in fact, something is coming into you. Some type of generosity, something that you have, you may not be aware of, but something is, in fact, coming. And what do you, does Pisces need to know regarding love? A new beginning is coming. Now, there is a slight caveat here with the Ace of Wands because this is a love stick, right? When you're thinking about love and the Ace of Wands comes out, this is a very passionate, a rod of passion, if you will. So somebody may be feeling very um, sexually passionate towards you or conversely, you could be having a lot of... Um, intimate passion, you know, deep desires at this time as well. But there's definitely a new beginning in love as well. Um, this is a lot of passion. <clears throat> and what is going on in career and finances? We have the emperor. This is leadership. This is authoritative decision making. People in positions of power, somebody older than you. We are in Aries season still, I think, for a couple more days. Um, the emperor embodies the Aries energy logical, very driven, making the highest right choice for the good of all involved. We'll see what's going on with that, but that's the emperor's also card of entrepreneurialism. So some of you may be pursuing entrepreneurial ventures as well. Let me get a sip real quick, guys. <clears throat> I had the doors open earlier to let air in, so you know how it goes. So in general, what does Pisces need to know? Pisces, we have the Queen of Cups. This is you in your energy, confident, listening to your intuition, looking straight ahead, not looking side to side, not looking towards the past, not looking towards the back, but looking straight ahead, but not directly ahead, looking ahead with your intuition, seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown and allowing that to guide you forward. This is also about being in touch with your emotions and being very kind and very caring without concern of what's in it for you just being very genuine and what is the likely outcome based on the current energy for pisces nine of pentacles pre-empress energy something beautiful is coming in for you it seems very um tangibly re related to finances or money or maybe even a new opportunity here is coming to you, it could be a position of leadership or somebody in a position of leadership could be offering you something um, or even from a romantic partnership, you could have a benefit um, or a gift coming in from some type of connection as well. We'll dive in and see what's going on here as we continue your reading Pisces. These are every single one of these cards is very beautiful. Um, so Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this page of wands for the current situation? What is this page of wands for the current situation for Pisces, please? I'm, I'm feeling here, I'm looking at this card and somebody may be on the fence about sending you a message. 
I'm hearing the message is going to eventually come through, but there's there's a refinement. There, the message is going through a refinement process in order to be a proper delivery. What is this page of wands for Pisces, please? For the current situation, what is this page? Thank you. Pisces, we have the Nine of Pentacles twice here. So for somebody, they may view you as their Nine of Pentacles, as being very self-reliant, self-sufficient. You are very beautiful, independent of gender. They are definitely looking at you. It, I feel somebody wants to give you something. Um, I'm feeling that very strongly in this message. We'll continue, but the message is... The message or opportunity, something's coming to you that's going to help elevate you up, give you a new sense of security, new sense of stability and independence. This could also be something regarding, let me get one more card here. One more card for this page of wands, please. What else do you want me to know? What else? Thank you. So there may be a decision here that is required. Once once the message arrives, you may have a decision to make. Now, this could be about a new job offer, interviewing, this could be about going in a new direction, but whatever happens here, you are in the energy. We start the reading off with the Nine of Pentacles and close it with the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a power moment for you where you're in your power. You're not bothered. This is Pisces unbothered. And as you go forward unbothered and unencumbered by other people's energy, you return to your strength and stand in your strength. What is the Six of Pentacles for the current feelings, please? I'm feeling somebody really wants to show generosity and kindness to you. What is the Six of Pentacles, please? And then we have the Nine of Cups and the Sun. I feel for some of you, whatever this is coming is going to be your wish fulfillment. There is a wish granted that makes you very happy here. This could be abundance. This could be whatever you've been wishing for or desiring. This is coming to you and it's going to make you very happy I, I'm hearing it came out of thin air. So this is not even on your radar probably, or you've just been, you may have been thinking about this um, passively, but I feel for some of you, you didn't actually think it would happen. Like you were like, yeah, I want this to happen. And you dr maybe daydream about it. And, and it is your true desires of your heart. It is your wish fulfillment. It's what you truly want to receive, but you didn't really think it was going to come like here's an ace of pentacles what is hidden you it has become a daydream to you like something you passively think about in in the moments where you know you have time to drift off into fantasy this is an ace of pentacles here for what is hidden and we have the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck answered prayers blessings emotional new beginnings what is this ace of pentacles for what is hidden from pisces please or what is hidden what is this Ace of Pentacles for what is hidden, please? Too many spirit, please clarify. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces, please? Thank you. This is going to enable you to end a burden. There isn't something coming in that's going to let you put a burden down. This could be a new job opportunity. It could also be a, a new job opportunity that carries with it additional responsibilities, but you'll be able to handle it. What might be heavy for other people is going to be light for you because you have the experience and capability to handle much. But here we do have a new opportunity. You don't see it coming in yet. You, you may have been in a position of struggling. Some of you may have been struggling financially or just struggling in general, you know, and, and this new opportunity coming, this message of um, tangible benefit is coming and is going to enable you to put a significant burden down. Spirit wants me to clarify this 10 of wands. What is this 10 of wands? Please spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this 10 of wands? What is this 10 of wands for Pisces, please? Okay, we have three cards. Pisces, this is going to allow you to put down the burdens of loss, the burdens of heartache, the burdens of pain. You've been working so hard and so long and you have overcome so much fragmentation in your life and overcoming, this is going to enable you to, this is a clearing of the way. This is, this is making the crooked path straight, allowing you, each of these cards right here, show a different type of burden that you've been carrying. The burden of heartache and pain. The burden of 
unrealized expectations and fragmentation of self, the burden of having mental energy and thought and being stuck. This is somebody coming, an opportunity coming in that's cutting you away from all this, ending a cycle of burden. As this new thing comes in, spirit is doing a new thing in your life and it's knocking on your door. I'm hearing, will you hear the call? It's it's arriving soon. What is this Ace of Wands for love and for Pisces? What is this Ace of Wands for love for Pisces? This is a lot of passion here, Pisces. So we have the Emperor coming out with the Knight of Wands. So you could be involved with somebody who's older than you romantically. They have feel a lot of passion for you. They might be traveling to see you. Um, they The Emperor is also about making logical decisions in the in the midst of passion the emperor also is aries we are in aries season so it seems as though this romantic encounter um could be very soon let me get clarification for this emperor and the knight of wands what is this emperor for pisces please so we have the page of cups i feel this emperor wants to give you something emotionally or no spirits tell me you are emotionally on this person's heart, on their, this person's mind. They think about you. They want to have messages with you. They're concerned that you might be getting away. They don't want to, they may not have even articulated or told you, have told you how they feel about you, but you matter to this person, whoever it is. This may even be a person who has never made their feelings known to you. They may be just on the outskirts of your life, but they feel something deeply for you. What is this Knight of Wands, please? Thank you. And we're getting the Ace of Wands again. So there's a lot of passion. There could even be an opportunity to travel related to an emotional situation or love situation. But we do see a sense of deep passion, deep... Um, okay, this is going to border on perhaps inappropriate, but hopefully it'll be all right. Deep in and out energy. And that's all I'll say, like deep, deep, going deep. Okay, I need to stop because I'm not trying to get this um, video checked, but somebody is really, somebody has you on, your, on their mind in a very emotional and passionate and lustful way. They want to be with you. They have been fantasizing about it and they are concerned that you might be becoming disinterested or if they come forward, you will not have interest in them. What is this emperor for Pisces in career and finances? What is this emperor for Pisces in career and finances, please? We're having the four of cups. What else do we need for this emperor, please? What else do we need to know about this emperor? You know, we have the emperor in both love and career and finances so some of you might be involved in workplace romances or it could be a boss or a co-worker that is interested in you and has never voiced their um interest in you they feel as though you would be there's an opportunity in career and finances that's coming to you that you do not see um somebody you may have been interviewing or you may soon be interviewing but somebody has been watching you and now the Ace of Swords is definitely interviewing. It's acing interviews, having victory in career and finances. And then we have the Hierophant. This is an organization. This is structure. And we have, you are moving forward in your career and finances, Pisces. You may not see it right now, but there's an opportunity coming in, for, especially for those of you who have been applying for new roles and you soon may be interviewing if you have been interviewing it seems as though the organization is going to make a very good decision to have you come on board and this will lead to a very prosperous future something much better than you've been experiencing but we do see change is occurring in your career and finances and I'm going to emphasize finances. There's a shift coming that's going to elevate you up to some degree. Now, it could be a small gift, but I'm feeling here it's going to be on the level of your nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy. And here you are as a champion receiving your cup. You are a champion of emotions. You conquer. And with your intuition, you have been seeing this unfold in 
the divine realm and in the divine cognition and now it's coming into 3d spirit what does pisces need to know about this general message for the queen of cups what is the general message for this queen of cups please what is this queen of cups for pisces we have the king of wands king of wands is masculine fire energy leo aries sagittarius i feel so you may have a fire sign around you or somebody who exhibits the fire energies um they could also have um some only a couple may have red hair um some are people who are very passionate maybe even have some type of establishment in their life but they're coming towards you pisces in a very passionate way they want what you have pisces they want what you got they want what you got right so what is this queen of cups for pisces please anything else for this queen of cups remain in your power don't give yourself away in the past you may have given yourself away this is an opportunity for growth and expansion um you've been waiting on something this king of wands has been waiting on something here and then we have the moon card but we're not sure here how it's going to pan out we're clear we'll clarify these cards spirit what is this king of wands pisces this could also be you moving into a deeper level of subconscious connectedness with spirit what is this king of wands please what is this king thank you we have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles speaks of some very tangible change and we see here a knight riding and extending the hand to give you something so this king of wands we have aries 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 so somebody in a position of authority in love in career and finances and in general is coming forward to give you something what else do we need to know about this king of wands please and it could be a message but i feel as though it's going to be something more tangible there you have done the work and now it's time for you to get rewarded there's something you have done um that somebody wants to compensate you for what is this three of wands please and for this three of wands we have it's the end of arguments it's the end of competition it's time to let go we have here the four of pentacles on this four of pentacles death is coming so it's time to release any type of situations that were of conflict now if you were applying for jobs this is an opportunity coming in based on your past work history your cv your resume you're being acknowledged and now growth and expansion is coming to you in career and finances because they see the work you have done to build and now it's time to transform it's time to let go of this small in comparison what you have built is small in comparison to what is coming and we see a transformation you are now coming there will be a choice no choice <laughs> i'm hearing the four of pentacles is needing to let go but hanging on so now there's going to be something happens that comes and enables you to release that the five of wands typically is a card of competition jealousy combatant energy it can also be physical exercise but here these people are at rest so it's a time to be at rest to release the work you have done the work at this point you have done the work and now you're waiting what is this moon what is pisces waiting on for this moon please and for this moon you're going to have communicate and we have the moon clarified by the moon pisces you're about to enter a next chapter of your life or have some type of change you don't see this coming yet, but it's in alignment with your soul's journey here. If we see the difference here, that something is going to be revealed to you. I, I'm getting for for some of you who practice some form of um, ritual, whether you are pagan or witches or any type of ritual, it doesn't have to be. Um, something metaphysical something around the full moon is going to come to you right now you don't see it but it's going to be coming to you and it's in a direct alignment with your soul's journey now you have been focused on you have been staying in your lane focusing your energy on what you want to bring into fruition and now it's coming into fruition and you're going to be rising up raising rising up into this nine of pentacles pre-empress energy you're going to have a, a life of refinement something very beneficial is on its way to you so spirit what is this nine of pentacles for pisces here please what do you want pisces to know about this nine of pentacles 
judgment. There's a decision that is coming based on your past energies and efforts that's going to elevate you up. What else do we need to know about this Nine of Pentacles, please? This is your calling in life. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Lovers. Now, this could be independent of how this resonates for you. If this is a love offer, you do not see this coming yet, Pisces. Please be clear that this is something that may not even be on the radar because you are literally focused on yourself right now and you're not looking external to you because you've been getting the most benefit and the most bang for your buck, so to speak, by focusing your energy on yourself and what you need to accomplish. So that's part of why you're not seeing this decision. There's a, a cycle that's repeated, but now there's a decision being made to bring something towards you. Um, and again, there it's a divinely guided decision. Now it could be a romantic offer or gesture or proposal based on that elevates you up, but I'm feeling more that across the board that this is just in general something that's meant for you and now it's divine timing coming in to bring it in to you. So let's get one angel answers for this reading, please. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading. So the overall summary here, Pisces, is there's something coming in for you that you do not see yet. This is going to be, this is a wish fulfillment granted. This is something you had desired but had really grown to think of it as a fantasy rather than a reality that you would be experiencing even though you did have hope you did have desire to have this but when this comes in you do not see this now this is going to enable you to put down burdens of loss pain fragmentation and feeling really stuck it's going to enable you to free yourself in some regard because this is a new opportunity um that is is going to really change change your position this is life changing pisces now we see in love that there's somebody around you who feels very passionately towards you and does want to approach you wants to send you messages of affection wants to go deep into pisces metaphorically but is concerned that you might be getting away they don't want to lose you they want to have you in their life um if you have been passionate with this person your passion is unlike any other passion they have experienced in career and finances we see something is on its way to you that you are not aware of um you could have been applying for jobs but either way it seems as though you have been identified as somebody who has um the skills and abilities that somebody's looking for so we see victory and moving forward perhaps with a new organization um for those of you who are entrepreneurs, it's moving forward, increasing, having favor in your own business. For others of you who are employed by a business, this is increasing. Um, you're going to have good things coming to you. It may require you to move to a different organization, though. And overall, you as you have been focusing on yourself, people have been noticing you. You have been putting in the work. People have been noticing you. You have been working towards growth and expansion. You have been working according to your soul's journey. Now it's time. Things are coming into your life, Pisces, that are going to enable you to let go, to free you up. There's not going to be this drama. There's not going to be this um, resistant energy, fighting, competition, because you're moving. You don't see it now from where you are. Maybe that message has not come in yet, but the message is on the way. It's just a matter of time here. And it's going to realign you, shift you into a path that's directly meant for you. Overall here, Pisces, we see a decision is being made. It's going to bring something very fortuitous to you spirit one angel answers for pisces for this reading one angel answers for pisces for this reading one angel answers for pisces for this thank you take action so when the opportunity comes knocking at your door open that door this is meant for you it's meant for you to take action both in your love and romantic life in your career and finances and whatever's coming to you is meant for you this is divine timing showing up at your doorstep, Pisces. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces, please. One oracle for Pisces for this reading. One oracle for Pisces. Thank you so much. And we have lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So you put in the work and now gifts are coming to you. Soul memories, things from the past that you have done, decisions are making, being made. 
in rooms where you have never put your feet, decisions are being made to bring you new opportunities that are divinely blessed and divinely guided and meant specifically for you to refine your life, to elevate your life. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. This is divine timing coming. The buzzer is ringing on divine timing, Pisces. The door is knocking. Your manifestations, your heart's desires, your wishes are coming into fruition. You may have grown, as we had stated, you may have grown resigned or just to thinking your dreams, your desires, your wish fulfillment would be fantasy. But here we see that something is in fact coming from the 5D into the 3D and it's going to really bless your life and release a lot of the burdens you've been carrying. Spirit, one lucky card for Pisces. One lucky card for Pisces. Please show them what they need to know. One lucky card for Pisces, please, Spirit. Just one, thank you. So you are going on a long, safe journey. As we were saying, there might be travel um, involved here, but you are starting off just as we were seeing here with this moon card. And, you know, what you need to know in gen general, you're embarking on something new here, Pisces. Don't trust too many people. When your blessings come in, when it, whatever this is comes in for you, be mindful that you're not broadcasting your blessings because that makes other people aware to the blessings so more takers and users will show up in your life. So be very careful, you know, still make, have smart conversations where you're protecting yourself. Don't give so much advice causes hard feelings. So this is something even I as a Pisces struggle with often is because we see and know so much. We know the things that are unknowable. We see the things that are unseeable and we intuitively have divine downloads and divine knowledge that it's not necessarily possible for humans to have, right? Especially if you have clear abilities or, you know, clear cognizant, clear um, audience, things like that, right? If you, especially, you know, the more advanced your intuitive gifts and spiritual gifts are developed, the more information you often receive. And Pisces with their give, giving kind, loving nature want people to know, hey, hey, hey person, this could help your life. But, but Spirit is saying dial down on that. Um, all the information you're receiving is not to share Pisces. It's for you and your knowledge and for your growth and your awareness. Oftentimes when you're sharing this information, um, people are not able to understand that you only have good intentions and they misinterpret it. So be very mindful about what information you're speaking and sharing. This is also an indicator that listening would be more prudent for you. You have or will receive unexpected pleasure. I, can I just say that the, there's a person who wants to go deep into Pisces here. I'm just going to tell you again, like this passion from this person is coming through in a very hot and heavy and just Somebody feels extremely passionately about you, Pisces. This could even be a person who wants to give you a gift of some sort. Um, that's what we could be seeing financially is a gift coming through that you don't see coming through yet. But somebody feels very passionately towards you. If you were asking a yes or no question, the answer is yes. And the number we have for today is 531, which reduces to a number nine. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I wish you the best. God bless.